So let's begin with the topic. Today's topic I'm going to teach you all about is logarithmic functions. I'm taking the heading as basics number one. So make sure you write the same heading when you're writing the notes, I mean, when you're preparing the notes. And uh, this basics, uh, you, have, you have done logarithmic base sums in differentiation with respect to logarithm, correct or not? That there is logarithmic differentiation. You have learnt about logarithm, a little basics of that in that uh, that topic. So I want to go a little depth in logarithm so that that will be helpful for you all in, in case a little twisted questions comes in logarithmic differentiation or even in some cases of limits logarithm will be included or also in certain cases of sequences and series. So the main concept behind CET is to understand one topic and apply it into another topic. That is, now I'll give you an example how you need to understand and study is you understand the topic of logarithm and you are going to apply it in different topics. That is, apply logarithmic in uh, limits, apply logarithm in differentiation, apply logarithm in sequences and series. Fine? So this is how you need to study a particular topic. Understand the topic and try to apply it into different areas of mathematics. Yeah, so that is the basic idea of CT and all these competitive examinations. Understanding the topic is very important. Yes, okay, fine. So let us try to understand what logarithm actually means. So I will be uh, posting a picture in this video itself. You can see, I, I mean, I'll post it up in this video, and you can see the clear picture of that particular week in this video itself. You can see the clear picture of what I'm trying to explain here. It's even in detail. Understand that, read that. Have an, eye, uh, have an eye on that particular image uh, of the page and that page I will be explaining in the work here. So now in that page it says that logarithm of a number n to the base a is exponent power to which a base must be raised to obtain a number n. Okay, Very confusing, I know. The definition is not required. Don't remember the definition at all understand the definition. So now understanding comes into picture. So understand that what they are trying to tell. Uh, logarithm of a number, logarithm of a number is nothing but the exponent power to which that number needs to be raised in order to get the number. Okay. So which is nothing but suppose you imagine uh, logarithm of a number n to the base a is exponent power to which a base must be raised. So logarithm of n is equal to x and this x is nothing but the exponent power which is raised over here to obtain the value, obtain a number. I will give an example for that. I will take an example that is, I will take that um, 10 to the power of 2 is equal to how much? 10 to the power of 2 is, already know it is 100. Fine. So now in this itself, if I tell in this itself, if I tell, it is going to be log 10 to the base, I mean log 100 to the base 10 is equal to log 10 is equal to 3. Okay? So this is what you need to understand in this one. So I will repeat once again the example what I was trying to tell is. Uh, Read the question. Read the question in this particular lesson and understand what I am trying to tell. They are telling a logarithm of a number n base uh, to the base a, n to the base a, is the exponent power to which the base must be raised, to which exponent power to the base must be raised, and that is nothing but the number. So see over here, 10 is the base, 2 is the exponent power which is raised so that I get a number n is the number over here, n is nothing but 100. So now the log of 100 base 10, the logarithm is read in this way, it's always log n base a, which means log 100 base 10 is equal to 2, that is the exponent power. Clear? So logarithm of a number is nothing but the exponent power, which is raised by to the exponent power of the base, simple as that. So understand this one clearly, so this much about logarithm basic definition. And this you, whatever I explained just now, was available in textbooks or wherever you have studied about logarithm. This much of definition is you have heard. 
the most important thing in for competitive exams you need to understand and remember is these conditions here is where they can ask you um, hundreds of questions and they can ask you twist and ask you different questions uh, in such a way that uh, you get confused so first thing you need to know is a greater than zero so first condition for a logarithm to exist for i can apply logarithm a is the base power a is the base over here which i have taken so i'll write it clearly for you in case you don't understand base is nothing but a the number is nothing but n and x is the power okay x is the power or logarithmic function so let's remember it as this uh, so over here a is greater than 0 and it is not equal to 1 it is greater than 0 it is not equal to 1 and n is also greater than 0 so logarithm function exists only when the base is greater than 0 and is not equal to 1 the base cannot be equal to 1 and it need not it cannot be less than 0 also it should be greater than greater than 0 and it is not equal to 1 and uh, it is at the n value is greater than 0 so these are the things which you need to keep in mind so now over here if a is equal to 10 it is read as simply log n it is log n you need not read it as log n base 10 yeah it is just log n now suppose a is an exponent function e I'm, I'm sure you'll have seen that function e many times before so that is an exponent function that e is then then the ln of n it is learned uh, it is read as ln of n that is ln n or a number whatever it is ln of number so this it is log n base e you don't read it like that simply you can read ln of n okay so that is the logarithm another way of remembering it the base 10 and to the base e so these are the standard remembering of it so next you need to know about a very important it's one of the standard formula you can tell so you have seen this in differentiation maybe or um, in some other topic i don't know uh, in differentiation you have come across one type of problem which is based on this formula that is suppose a number is raised to the power of log n then a number is raised to the power of log n the simply it is nothing but the n value itself the value of that particular full exponent is nothing but n itself so i'll give an example a can be any number okay it can be any number if it is raised to the power of log 3 suppose it has base a and it is raised to the power of log 3 then the answer is simply 3 itself yeah so log a log n is equal a power log n a to the power of log n don't forget that what i'm trying to tell is a to the power of log n is simply n so a to the power of log 3 is simply 3 okay yeah so understand this derive this formula and remember it it will be helpful in the problem when you are coming across in this formula so then after this much of basics i need to go on to the properties